Institutional neutrality is a principle that colleges and universities shouldn't take a stand one way or another on political or polarizing issues. It is meant to create an atmosphere on campus where students and scholars do not feel pressured to conform to the political beliefs of administrators and other professors. In 1967, the University of Chicago issued its Calvin Commission Report which stressed the importance of institutional neutrality as a necessary condition for free speech. It stated that if the institution officially endorsed specific social policies, it would inhibit the full freedom of dissent on which it thrives. In other words, those with dissenting viewpoints would be discouraged from expressing their thoughts. As mentioned in a previous Martin Center video, some states have made laws to protect free and open thought on college campuses. Some of those laws, including North Carolina's Campus Free Speech Act, are based on model legislation from the Goldwater Institute. The Goldwater model legislation has a special focus on institutional neutrality. The model legislation states that colleges and universities should aspire to institutional neutrality meaning that they shouldn't take sides or make statements on controversial issues. The legislation also states that public universities may not take action as an institution on the public policy controversies of the day in such a way as to require students, faculty, or administrators to publicly express a given view of a social policy. Let's look at an example. Each summer, universities often assign a book for all incoming students to read and discuss in the first few weeks of the semester. Unfortunately, the assigned books often are recent publications that deal with current political debates. Since summer readings are assigned at the institutional level, having students read politically charged books is a violation of institutional neutrality. A common choice of book featured in these summer programs is Just Mercy by Brian Stevenson. In 2018, Stanley Kurtz, co-author of the Goldwater model legislation, suggested that it was inappropriate for a university to assign the title. When the university assigns as its sole freshman summer reading Brian Stevenson's Just Mercy, a brief against capital punishment, at a moment when capital punishment is a controversy in North Carolina, I suggest that we have a violation of institutional neutrality. If public universities are to be bastions of free thought and discussion, it is crucial that they honor the principle of institutional neutrality. If you would like to learn more, please visit us at our website, www.jamesgmartin.center.